Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm here to talk about how to convert angles to tangent values. Well, this is actually a pretty straightforward process because angles and tangents work really well together, and so when you're converting angles to tangent values, all you're really doing is uh, you're just plugging in the formula tangent of theta, where theta is the given angle. So if you want to find the tangent value to it, just plug in the uh, angle and you should be good to go. So just a quick illustration here, if you have, want to find the tangent value of 30 degrees, okay, so a lot of folks will have memorized the tangent of 30 degrees, but you want, if you want, you can always use the fundamentals of this, take advantage of the fact that tangent is sine over cosine, so it'd be sine of 30 degrees over cosine of 30 degrees, and so sine of 30 degrees is a half, Cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, and then just use the arithmetic laws and you should be good to go. So 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2 is like saying 1 half times 2 over square root of 3. And then the 2's cancel, so you're left with 1 over square root of 3. But as when with trig classes and higher math courses, you really shouldn't leave a radical in the denominator, so you want to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the top and bottom by square root of 3. And you'll have square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just going to be positive 3. But the bottom line is, as long as you plug it back into this particular definition, and if it's a common angle, it should be pretty easy to approach, but if it's an uncommon angle, that's where a calculator would come in. Just be sure that your calculator is in the proper mode. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to convert angles to tangent values.